Hey, what's up guys? Today is August 5th, Monday, 2019. And I wanna give a special shout out to my homeboy for life, brother from another mother, Dr. Sean Hansen, chiropractor, Tarpon Springs, Florida, my BFF. And I uh, wish I could be there to wish you a happy birthday in person. But uh, this is the best I can do as I'm climbing up this big ass hill. So today, other than my buddy Sean's birthday, you guessed it. Oop. Ah, sorry, this damn mosquito. <laughs> it's Trail Time Confessions. And this is episode eight. And I'm coming in from the trail, hiking from Shelter Cove. And uh, had a good time out there. It's a nice place. They are uh, very hiker friendly and had a big spread. Man, these things, they get you where you can barely reach and maybe where you forget to put the spray on. Anyways, today I wanna to talk about possessions, things, items in our life that we think we need. And some of the lessons I've learned just being out here on the trail for two months already. And I don't know, I'm sure you've heard people say like, you know, you don't realize how much shit you got until you end up moving and you gotta pack it all up and move it in that storage truck or, uh, or I'm sorry, moving truck or storage unit. And that's one big lesson that I did learn um, or I guess realization as I was shutting everything down in May was uh, how much shit that I got. And, you know, being a guy, we accumulate stuff, tools, hobbies, <laughs> lots of hobbies. And being that I don't have a garage, you know, I um, stored stuff at the gym and in my back room at my condo. So when I got to Washington, my pack was 75 pounds. It was huge. You know, in Wisconsin, we don't really, um, I guess weight in your pack is, I've never thought about it, you know, going up hunting or even backpacking day backpacking, um, you know, in the woods in Wisconsin, you don't really think about the repercussions of bringing this or that and the added weight it's going to put on the body, um, you know, for your hike. So, you know, we all have things in our life that we think we need, whether it's, again, for hobbies or for whatever reason, we hang on to things. And I want to challenge all of you to start minimizing your life with some of the possessions and things that you have. Because one thing that I have realized out here as I'm carrying my entire life on my back for miles on end, day after day, is that weight and possessions can bring you down and they can slow you down and both mentally, physically, and emotionally as I trip over that, that route. <laughs> um, one big thing that I want to do as I get back and need to clear out my three storage units that I have back home is literally that, clear them out, sell as much more stuff as I can because as I'm shedding my pack, how's it going, man? Just doing a little vlogging. Um, as I'm shedding my pack, I'm really realizing how awesome it does feel. And having no emotional attachment to some of the items 
um, most of the items in my storage, it uh, is making me want to get rid of it. So, so yeah, that's my my thing for today is possessions, things that we have. Clean out your closet, clean out your garage, your shed, your house, and ask yourself, do you really need this? And why am I holding on to it? You know, I had, I, I have, have had this idea in my head about, and I think a lot of us do, well, I think I might use it this point in time later on in life. And whether it's for a project, I know I fell suit to that big time, being that I always had tons of projects on my plate. I saved a lot of stuff that I could have thrown out a long time ago. And I wish I did because it would have left a lot more room for other things in my life. And just to elaborate on that is just the fact that technology, things that we buy get outdated so quickly, especially now. That curve is almost exponential now to where you buy something and within a year is pretty much outdated and using it. What's up, man? Good, how, how you doing? And uh, so, you know, just start asking yourself the more, the more that, especially the more that we consume, do you really need it? And I know some of you guys might already practice this already, but I just wanted to let you all know that I'm thinking about it and that it's, it is one of the lessons that I have learned out here. And I am literally learning it the hard way <laughs> by carrying the weight, realizing I don't need it and getting rid of it. So, um, so yeah, that's about it for today. I'm gonna make this video a lot shorter than my last ones. And uh, I hope you guys can all take away something from this video today. And if you have any questions about maybe some of the things, items that I've gotten rid of, I'd be happy to share that. Or if you'd like to comment, on, uh, hey, how's it going? If you'd like to comment on the video, things that you're purging in your life and how that has made you feel, that would be great. Because I would like to, to know what some of those things are as well, if you're open to share. So that's about it for today. I'm gonna get on with my trek. And uh, should be to Diamond Lake tomorrow. And Crater Lake on Wednesday. So I'm really excited for that. And it should be done with the state. Um, by the end of the week so you guys have a great great monday and we'll talk to you guys soon